Whiting is a, a Washington, Oregon, and a little bit down California, but mostly Washington, Oregon fishery. We deliver Pacific Whiting up here in Astoria on the Columbia River, and uh, we do that pretty much all summer from May till November. One of the reasons why whiting is so important is it's a fishery that lasts, you know, six, almost seven months. We get to the grounds, we wake up just before daylight. We have uh, machinery, electronics on here that find the fish. We'll locate the fish, set out our nets, and then we've got catch indicators. So typically we'll, we'll keep towing our nets until an indicator on the, on the caught end goes off and I'll know, hey, I got enough fish to fill my back hole. I've been doing this for years. Every time that indicator goes off, it's uh, you just get this rush. There's a certain quota that's set out for the whiting. The boats have their individual quotas. When the boats go out, every one of the boats have a observer, and they're out looking. So not only are they you know looking at their quota they have, but there's also bycatch out there that they need to avoid. These boats will come in with 300,000 pounds a day. We use a Ryko vacuum system. You turn the vacuum on, and that's where it proceeds to just basically suck the fish through the system of piping that comes up into a dewatering tank. To ensure the quality, we uh, actually take a thermometer and we probe the uh, fish so we can actually see what the temperature is and achieve 32 degrees up to 36. When we offload a boat, we can do two things when we offload the boat. It goes through our sorting line where we pull out any bycatch and um, other bycatch species, which is a species other than whiting. You either go um, straight from the boat into the plant or into totes. And with the totes, we actually put it into what we call a slurry mix, which is ice, water, and salt combined. And it actually um, helps us even probably improve the quality of the fish from when it comes off the boat into these totes. The goal is to produce a number one filet. Um, the second is H&G, which is a head and gut product. And then the third is a mince product. One of the biggest uh, producers that we, that we want to produce here is the fillets. Fillets is uh, mostly for uh, the domestic market. We have three botter machines that fillet the whiting. And the design of this was so the fillets would be at the, the highest quality possible. And we have a state-of-the-art IQF freezer. So this freezer has a crusting belt on the top layer that will freeze the outside of the fillets. And then from there, um, once it does the crusting, it goes through the actual freezing process. Another product we produce from the Pacific Whiting is surimi. Surimi is a uh, fish paste that's used to pr produce uh, surimi-based seafoods, which are more commonly recognized in the United States as imitation crab or imitation scallops. It can be baked, it can be fried, it can be boiled, it can be cooked in almost any fashion. It's really all fish, it's all seafood, it's a healthy protein. It gives applications that are affordable to allow people to eat the healthiest protein on the planet. If we have good uh, raw material arriving at the docks, we should be able to carry that throughout our production process and ultimately on to our final customer. We put the fish on the line and we make sure about the firmness of the product, making sure we're cutting wood quality product. We're making sure the fish is 100% firm. We implement technology through data loggers. And after we receive that information at the dock, we download that after the holds are empty. We bring that into our QA labs. Our QAs actually start to begin to analyze that. The quicker that we can get the fish down to 34 degrees, the quicker we can uh, stop that breakdown of the muscle tissue and we can lock in that good quality that arrives at our docks. We do hourly checks on, fresh, on the fresh side of the fillets and then we also do hourly checks on the frozen side of the fillets. At the end of the line, we have several checks uh, making sure uh, packaging goes on the right way. If I overfish that fish, that species, I'm out of a job. It's a big part to make sure that these fisheries aren't overfished. They basically charter a boat and they do uh, surveys, not only with whiting, but with ground fish, you know, all our fisheries on here. 
a lot of work goes in to make sure that it's not overfished so that it's not only going to be here for us today, but you know, we want to be here for our kids later on. The wastewater is a huge concern for the fishing industry and getting the water clean so you can send it back out into the, into the world. We're actually using tiny micro bubbles that we inject into the water that grabs all those uh, solids and fats and grease and oils and floats them up to the top. We take the rest of the fish from Pacific Seafoods plants and turn it into value-added products. We bring the fish in, we grind it, we, we cook it, we go through several separation processes. Um, we end up with a, a bone material. We dry that, that portion too, that we separate from the protein. Uh, that doesn't go to waste. It goes into fertilizers and some animal feeds. We can take this filet trim and this rest material and make some of the highest quality protein, fish protein available on the planet. When we heard that it was uh, certified sustainable, it's definitely something that we've been hopping on recently. We're a restaurant that focuses on sustainable seafood. I think that um, fish like this are often overlooked because they are a little more inexpensive and lesser known. Yeah, it's kind of a, a small flake white fish that's pretty versatile. It's not too strong in flavor, so it's kind of like a blank canvas for us. I love broiled fish, so I just kind of buttered it threw it in the salamander and uh, was really interested to find out the, the simple flavor profile that way. I would eat this for dinner a couple times a week. We have customers all over the world. Pacific Seafood exports to over 50 different countries. We have numerous processing plants. It enables us to have a more streamlined, uh, steady supply of, of Pacific whiting. We really form partnerships with our customer base. We're a very large volume producer of whiting, and this volume offers a continuity of supply to our customers. We believe in the diamond philosophy, quality, excellence, productivity, and teamwork. Pacific is a, is a great company. They treat you well. They're always trying to think outside the box. I mean, they're just a great company to work for. The loyalty and love our full-time team members have with this company is probably the thing I, I'm most proud of our team the most. We're always a company who's looking to innovate, taking a good quality raw material and turning it into a fantastic quality raw material. It's affordable, it's uh, sustainable, it's very well managed, regulated. The Pacific Whiting is the most affordable MSC uh, sustainably managed fishery in the world. When our customer gets it, they've got the peace of mind that the product has been very well taken care of and it will be far superior than any of our competitors' products.